create an audit process. By going to the cloud, let's start with a single cloud, you are already giving your users access, significant access to do things on their own, autonomously, right? They're, they're using self-service, they're provisioning resources, they're deleting resources, they're leveraging multiple services. So imagine if that's one cloud, now imagine doing that across multiple clouds. You're going to have a lot of access from users to these services. So having a rigorous audit process is going to be important to make sure that you know everything is working the way that it needs to work. We wanna make sure that we're constantly, for example, auditing the policies that we talked about, we just talked about. That is going to be crucial. Don't just set the policies and forget them. You wanna constantly revisit these policies, make sure that they're doing this, what they are intended to do and make sure that they're doing this across multiple clouds. Again, the last thing that you want is to have one cloud provider that has a lot of these best practices applied, but then realize that you've got a second cloud provider that doesn't have these policies applied. Having a good audit process will also help you react. So let's say you're in an environment where your organization just made an, an acquisition or just merged with another organization. If you have a really good audit process defined, you will be able to very quickly audit the company that you're acquiring or that you're merging with, identify the gaps, identify where there are similarities, where are there, there are gaps, and you're able to close that very quickly and bring them within compliance. So having an auditing process as your environment grows within a single cloud provider or across multiple cloud providers becomes crucial for your ability to continuously optimize and manage it efficiently.